Hi, we are from At Home Tuition. In this video, we are going to see few examples on how to find the given number is a perfect cube. The question is, which of the following are perfect cubes? 400, 3375, 8000 and 15625. Now, let's take the first number, 400. So, solution. First, let's find the prime factors of 400. So, if each factor appears three times, then the given number is a perfect cube. So, this is the method we are going to find the given number is a perfect cube or not. So, now we want to find the prime factors first. So, I have taken the 400 and I am finding the prime factors. So, to find prime factors, first I am dividing it by 2. So, 400 divided by 2, I will get 200. 200 divided by 2, I will get 100. 100 divided by 2, I will get 50. 50 divided by 2, I get 25. Then 25 cannot be divided by 2, 3 or 4. So, I am dividing it by 5. So, 25 divided by 5, I will get 5. Then again, 5 divided by 5, I get 1. So, after this, I am going to write the factors of this 400. So, by prime factorization, I got the factors of 400. So, which is nothing but 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, 5 into 5. So, 4 times 2 and then 5. So, now the factor 2 appears 4 times and the factor 5 appears only 2 times. So, we can write the 400 as 400 equal to 2 to the power 3 that is 2 cube times 2 because we have 2 4 times. So, times 2 time into 5 squared. Okay. So, for a number to be a perfect cube, we know that each factor should appear 3 times. Here, the factor 2 appears 4 times. Okay. And then 5 appears only 2 times. So, the factor is not a cubic factor. So, we can say that the given number is not a perfect cube. So, thus we can say 400 is not a perfect cube. The next given number is 3375. Now, let's find the prime factors for 3375. So, here the same concept we are going to use. So, if each factor appears 3 times, then the given number is a perfect cube. Now, let's find the prime factor first. So, 3375. So, we cannot divide it by 2. So, I am starting dividing by 3. So, if I divide by 3, I will get 1125, which further divide by 3, I will get 375, which further divide by 3, I will get 125. So, 125, I am dividing it by 5, so I will get 25. So, 25 divided by 5, I will get 5, and 5 divided by 5, I will get 1. Now, I am going to write the prime factors. So, the factors are... 3 into 3 into 3. So, 3 appeared 3 times and then 5, 1, 2, 3 times. So, 5 into 5 into 5. So, here the factor 3 appears 3 times and the factor 5 appears 3 times. So, we can write 3375 as 3 cube into 5 cube. So, 3 cube and 5 cube. So, both the terms are cube. So, I am taking the base. 3 into 5, the whole cube. 3 into 5 is 15 cube. So, for a number to be a perfect cube, each factor should appear 3 times. So, here 3 appeared 3 times, 5 appeared 3 times. So, it is a perfect cube. Thus, we can say that 3375 is a perfect cube. So, the next number is 8000. So, we know that first we want to find prime factors of 8000 and we want to check how many times the factors are appearing. Okay. So, now let us find the prime factors of 8000. So, 8000, I am dividing it by 2 first. So, I get 4000. So, 4000 I am dividing by 2. So, I will get 2000. 2000 can be divided by 2. I will get 1000. 1000 can be divided by 2. I will get 500. So, 500 divided by 2. I will get 250. 250 divided by 2. I will get 125. So, 125 we know that it can be divided by 5. So, which is 25. 25 divided by 5. I will get 5. Again, 5 divided by 5. I will get 1. So, now I am going to write the factors of 8000 from this division. So, now 2 will appear 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So, I have written 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Then 1, 2, 3. 5 appeared 3 times. So, I have written 5 into 5 into 5. So, now I am grouping 3 2s. 3 2s and then 3 5s. So, the factor 2 appears 6 times and the factor 5 appears 3 times. Okay. So, now we can write this 8000 as 2 cube and then for this 2 cube into 5 cube. Since all the cubes that is powers are same, 
we can write the base okay separately so 2 into 2 into 5 to the power 3 okay so now 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 5 is 20 so we can write it as 20 cube so for a number to be a perfect cube we know that each factor should appear three times so here 2 appears three times this 2 appear three times and this 5 appears three times so we can say that the given number is a perfect cube so thus 8000 is a perfect cube the next number given is 15,625. So, as we know that we want to find the prime factors first and then we want to see how many times the each factor appears. So, for finding prime factors, first I am writing the number 15,625 which I am dividing it by 5 first. So, if I divide it by 5, I will get 3,125 which I am dividing it again by 5. So, I will get 625 which I am dividing by 5, I will get 125 which again dividing by 5, I will get 25. So, which is further divided by 5, I will get 5. And which is further divided by 5, I will get 1. So, here all the factors are 5. Now, let us count how many 5s are there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 5s are there. So, I am writing factors of 15,625 as 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5. So, here the factor 5 appears 6 times. So, we can write this 15,625 as 5 cube into 5 cube. See, I have split it into 3 times 3 times. So, 5 cube into 5 cube. So, here the power is same and also the base is same. So, I am taking the base and multiplying. So, 5 into 5 and writing the power once. So, 5 into 5 is 25 cube. So, for a number to be a perfect cube, we know that each factor should appear 3 times. So, here the factor 5 appears 3 times and again the 5 appears 3 times. So, we can say that the given number is a perfect cube. So, thus we can say that 15,625 is a perfect cube. So, our given question is which of the following are perfect cubes? So, the given numbers are 400, 3,375, 8,000 and 15,625. So, out of this we have found out that 3,375, 8,000 and 15,625 are perfect cube numbers. Hope you have understood how to find the given number is a perfect cube. So, first we have to find the prime factorization of the number. Then we have to write the prime factors of the number. If each factor appears three times, then the given number will be a perfect cube number. Thank you for watching the video.